Now to new details in a triple shooting tonight. A man identified as a suspect is dead following a standoff with authorities in a different state. Deputies in North Carolina confirming with 8 News that Ty Washington was involved in that shootout. Washington was found roughly five hours away from Richmond in Rutherford County. The sheriff's office there did not confirm how he died, but we do know at least one deputy was hurt in the shootout. 8 News reporter Rachel Keller joining us live tonight in Henrico with the latest details. Rachel, good evening. Well, that's right. We do know that the suspect Ty Washington II is dead. His alleged crime spanning across at least two states. And we do know that here it began in this neighborhood in Henrico County. I was able to watch some of that surveillance video from that night hearing at least 10 gunshots. According to his neighbors, Washington allegedly shot his mother, two of his siblings and then took off. This morning, 26 year old Ty Washington II shot and killed during a standoff with law enforcement in North Carolina. Rutherford County resident Julie Nutters waking up to helicopters and armed cars. I didn't see anything, but I heard a lot of shots and a lot of yelling. During the shootout, a Rutherford County Sheriff's deputy was injured and airlifted to a hospital. We heard more bullets shooting and then uh, within about 10 minutes, we heard a barrage of bullets. So we both got up and went to windows looking out to see what we could see. North Carolina State Bureau investigators seen at the scene outside of a home. Somewhat of a conclusion to a string of events that began here in Henrico County on Tuesday. Washington was wanted with several warrants out for his arrest. This after police say he was suspected of shooting two women and a juvenile inside of a home on Mason Manor Drive in the county's east end. Henrico police suspecting that Washington would travel to Rutherford County, North Carolina. That's where multiple agencies searched for him, found his car, and ultimately approached him. The names of the officers involved in that shooting standoff in North Carolina, we're told, will be released. That deputy that was shot and injured is currently being treated at the hospital. And as for Washington's family members who were shot here in Henrico, they are currently fighting for their lives with life-threatening injuries. For now, live in Henrico County, Rachel Keller, 8 News. Rachel.